هون في جبل عمان و فيها شوف كل المدينة حلوة كتير When you surf, you have the sensation to be free. It means that you forget all the problems. You have uh, an empty mind, so you are free. In one word, you are free. I never expected that I would be a surfer one day. At the beginning, our parents wasn't agree with us uh, by going into the water. For them, it was too dangerous for us. But if you love something, you have to be stubborn to, to do what you want. I never stop surfing, never. I will surf till my death. Cote d'Ivoire. The country got its name when French and Portuguese explorers set up shop here in the 15th and 16th centuries, and the number one commodity being traded here was ivory. While today Cote d'Ivoire is most widely known for its cocoa production, it is also becoming known for producing something else, world-class surfers. Welcome to the West Factory. Founded in 2016 by Hattie Beydoun and his partner Pierre Nicou, the space serves as the center for the local Ivorian surf community with its own surf shop and the only shaping factory in the country. I met up with Pierre to get a look inside the West Factory and learn more about their work with the community. What, what do I call you guys? Are you guys a surf shop or are you guys a, uh, a board shaping company? Yeah, I think we are most a surf culture provider. We just create the, the West Factory with one of my friends and co-founder, his name Hadi, and we just decided not to be a surf shop, you know, because we are not a surf shop. We just wanted to create knowledge, you know, and to create surf culture, you know, in a place where surf culture is a little bit uh, forgotten. We wanted to make something technical, how to design and how to shape a surfboard. You yeah, know? Pierre, you mentioned that you guys are different, uh, unique as a company because of mm. the shaping, yeah. uh, being the only shaper here in mm. Cote d'Ivoire, but you guys are also doing some really interesting stuff uh, and some really great stuff here with the community giving back. The West Factory today, you know, is giving back to the education, the education first, you know, because every surfboard which is made by our local local knowledge or local shapers which, who are coming and which is sold is giving one month's education to a student in Côte d'Ivoire you know by giving uh, scholarship fees or giving uh, education pack once we once we are selling maybe I don't know like uh, 30 boards a month maybe 30 kids at school and why is that important to you guys to, to give back this country gives us everything so it's important for us to give it back at first but also we prefer these kids you know to be in the water or at school better than in the street also to education and helping to give a revenue to create a free board to a, a young surfers of Assini Côte d'Ivoire we are giving surfboards to hold the surfing community in Côte d'Ivoire you know because you see these guys um, having surfboards uh, formally by donations and uh, second-hand surfboards and things like a little bit old, you know. And once we, 
once we start, you know, with the factory, with the West factory, we decided to help the community, but not to help them just to have surfboards, but to help them to surf better by giving them better equipment, you know, and custom equipment, which is like, you know, like uh, pro surfers, you know, pro surfers have their own equipment. They are all pro surfers for us, you know, so they need their boards to improve their surfing. So one of the kids is making part of the family also because he's working with us, he's uh, staying with us uh, every day. He's a professional surfer now because I met him, he was really a kid, you know, maybe afraid of the ocean when I met him first time. And how, now, so how long ago was that? Maybe it makes, uh, actually, Sule is 20-something, so 20 years ago. 20 years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. maybe wow. 20 years ago. And, uh, and now, he's the surfing national champ. One hour east of Abidjan, tucked away in the green labyrinth of palm tree forests, hides the small surf village of Asuende, home to professional surfer and national champion Suleiman Sidibe. As I gracefully flailed around in two feet of water for the next 30 minutes, something resembling more of a prolonged seizure than an attempt at surfing, Sule was out doing what he does best, catching waves. All of that tumbling around along the shoreline really worked up an appetite. So Sule and some of his friends and I headed into a nearby town to eat and talk shop. Surf shop. <laughs> so now we are eating uh, rice mm -hmm. and uh, futu. Mm -hmm. Futu is uh, the mix of uh, cassava and plantain. Mm -hmm. and, uh, futu. Yeah, yeah, futu. it's very nice. And uh, we have uh, pan, pan, pan nut sauce. Sauce, sauce clean. And, uh, ah, okay. Sauce clean. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, this is That's fish. fish. Yeah, this is fish. This is uh, a. So, what age did you start surfing? How old were you? You said you were. Uh, uh, nine nine years old. Nine years old, you've been yeah. surfing yeah, since yeah. you're nine. Yeah. When we were young, we were always on the beach side. So, we were watching the other surfers surfing. So that's why we are decided to, to practice this one because it was really amazing to, to see them in the water. Sule, uh, what would you say is the hardest part about being a surfer in Cote d'Ivoire? The lack of good materials to, to start uh, very well in all the good conditions. Yeah, the West Factory, I can uh, thank Pianiku and uh, Adi Bedou of the West Factory. The West Factory has given uh, us materials to surf. Because uh, you know, without surfboard, you can't surf. So you said that you surfed in Senegal twice and you surfed in Ghana yeah, twice, yeah. yeah? Yeah, I was uh, in Senegal in 2016 to take part to the Africa Tour, mm -hmm. compared to organized by, uh, called um, Umase. It was uh, my first time to take part to this kind of uh, event. Mm -hmm. I was representing the, the country. And uh, after the June of the, 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 the same year, I went to Ghana to take part to the International Surfing Day. So I won the contest over there in uh, 2016. So after three years, we went again to Dakar. The West Factory, I bought my flight ticket to go to WQS, World Qualifying Series. Yeah, in, yeah. in Senegal. So yeah. There were some big yeah. names there. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. It was uh, really nice to be, to, to be over there to represent the country. To be 
at the place that I'm here, uh, I'm here right now, it wasn't too easy. So it's mean a lot of time, a lot of work because you have to start early, start the training, go to the water, and uh, sometimes your family is not uh, agree with you with uh, what you are doing. So you have to to be a stubborn, uh, like a stubborn boy to to do what you love. I think uh, it's not now that we are going to stop this sport. So it will be till our death. We are going to suffer all our life. If you love something, you have to be stubborn to do what you want. An idea that resonates with me down to my very core. For Sule, Pierre, and everyone at the West Factory, they've found what they love, they're doing it, and they're making an impact along the way. Whether it's providing students with an education or inspiring the next nine-year-old kid on the beach to chase his or her dreams. that I caught? Yeah, I catch anyways. It was very nice too, it was very nice. <laughs> oh, <he did. laughs> I better understand me with the question, man. He literally just rolled he literally just rolled out of bed. I was like, oh, put your feet down right here. He just rolled out of bed. It's one of the greatest shaper. Actually, it's one of the, it's one of the <laughs> He's one of the greatest yeah, shapes. Yeah, <laughs> Je m'appelle Ricky, je suis un YouTuber. Et on m'appelle Jenny Fais en Côte d'Ivoire. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Jenny, Jenny. Est-ce que tu as femme? 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 Comme des temps, femme? Femme. Femme. Tu as fait? Femme. Ah, femme. Ah, je suis sur le toit. Est-ce que tu as femme? <laughs> oui, beaucoup. <coughs> I had a big bone, a fish bone stuck in my throat. And we're seeing that. I'm seeing it. I said, the guy is liking you alone, man. It's weird, eh? Oi! Woo! Pima! Oh, mon dieu! I think it's not too much in there. That's really spicy. Yeah. Mm. Okay. It's not your habit to eat. Uh, mm. Uh-uh. Uh-uh.